All right, so we are starting as always with our basic template here. Let's just go ahead and start by renaming our title to That's right, ladies and gentlemen, two columns are coming. Two column layout with floats. Now we're going to use something that we've used a little bit, um, although we haven't talked about in a lot of detail, which are divs. And divs stand for divisions, and they help us divide our site up into different sections. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few divs to this page. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to add a div ID header. And I'll leave my H1 in that. Close it. And then I'll have a div ID main content. And I'll put these example paragraphs inside of that and then close it. And then I will create a new div an ID of sidebar. Close that. And I'm just going to put a little paragraph tag in here that reminds me that that's what that is. And finally, at the bottom, I'm going to put a div ID footer. And you can see now, we've used IDs mostly to set up example things, how this begins to give us a really good uh, template for laying out our page. And we could easily tell where our main content code is, where our header code is, where our sidebar code, and where our footer code is. Later, we'll be able to link to other sites, and we could put copyright information, etc. But for now, we have our header, main content, sidebar, and footer. And the ones that we want to focus on are our main content and our sidebar. Although I am forgetting one thing here, and that's when you make a site, it's common to make one div and put everything else inside of it. So come down below your body tag and create a div called wrapper. And then down before you close your body tag, go ahead and close that. So now we have a basic template. And honestly, actually what you could do is you could save this here as a basic template. Because from here on out, we're going to be using these major sections as um, our templates. So now that we have a basic template, let's go ahead and do Control S, and we'll save, I'm sorry, Alt Control S, and we'll save this as float hyphen layout dot HTML. Float hyphen layout. Let's go ahead and open up the browser and see what it looks like. Nothing special. Now, we can begin styling the different divs, and this is where it'll take off. So go ahead and set up your style tag. The first thing we're going to do is I'll show you a trick for taking your wrapper, giving it a set width. Let's do 300, well, let's, let's say 960. And then we're going to set margin, go to zero, space auto. So this means that the top and the bottom margins are zero, and the right and left ones are automatically formatted. And if we look in our browser now, that takes our wrapper and it centers it. Now just to get an idea of where our wrapper really is, I'm going to add a basic border to it. And go ahead and refresh that. Now I could see um, that I have this border set up around. Next thing we'll do is the header we're not really going to change, but the main content we want to float on the left and the sidebar we want to float on the right. In order to do that, we have to set widths for each of them. So we'll say main content, width, and if we're working with a 960 pixel wide area, then let's say that we'll make this one 740, well, let's say 640 is our main content area. And we can float it left. Now for our side area, 
let's do a little math real quick. If we have a wrapper that's 960 and a main content that's 640, that means that our aside, I'm sorry, our sidebar is going to be set to 320. So if we set that to 320 pixels and float it right, and then when we refresh our page, we should see that our sidebar content comes on the side and our main content appears on the left here. Now, we also notice that our footer appears on the right. And the reason is, is because when we float something to the left, everything else wraps around it, just like that picture. So to solve that problem, what we're going to do to the footer is introduce something new called clearing. So to our footer, we'll say clear both. And what that does is it tests to see if there's anything on the left side of it or anything on the right. And if there is, it goes all the way down until that section ends. So what we see now is that it went from being next to the main content to all the way at the bottom. So here you have your basic layout for setting up a two-column site. Although we can see it's very basic, it's definitely going to need some padding, some more styling, but this is where we'll pick up from and go from here.